Hey, what's going on, everyone? So today we're really going to get in deep on how to set up campaigns for your contacts that you've set up in your database. Now, we've been working on database for the last few weeks, and I've been really making a focus on fill out your database, make sure your database is full, make sure that there are people in your database. And I kept telling you it's because we're going to get more complicated and none of this works unless your database is set up. So if you haven't set up your database, understand when you get to working on this here in a little bit, none of this might make sense to you. You need to make sure and add at least a few contacts so that you can start to experiment and play with some of these cool features. So for today's, I'm really going to focus on campaigns. And I'm sure that you've heard them before. Three by three, four by four, six by six, eight by eight, 12 by 12. And you were probably wondering, like I was the first time I heard that, what the heck are they even talking about? What are three by threes? What are four by fours? What are those? What does it even mean? So I'm going to make it real simple for everyone. All that means, a three by three, is that you're doing three contacts over some frequency of time. The other three can be three days, three weeks, three months. So three contacts over three days, three weeks, or three months. You decide what that other frequency is and what works for you and for your clients. Same thing with the four by four. Four contacts over a time period that's broken up into four. Four days, four weeks, four months, four years. Now, that might not be very effective to do four years. So you may really want to focus on frequency of contacts and when you're doing those contacts. And remember, a contact can be anything. It can be calling someone, sending an email, sending a text message, doing a pop buy. A pop buy is when you show up to their house with a value item of value, mailing them something in the mail. It's any time that you actually make contact with a client. So just because you say, I'm going to do four contacts over four weeks, doesn't mean they all have to be phone calls. You can diversify and do one phone call, one text message, one email, and maybe one pop by. That's up to you to decide. But for the longest time before CRMs existed, this was the kind of thing you had to keep track of in a calendar. And you literally had your little paper calendar and you wrote in there, on Monday the 17th, I'm going to send John Smith an email. On Monday the 24th, I'm going to send John Smith a text message. And then you had to go into your calendar and actually make sure that all of that happened. There was zero automation, there was zero help, and there was zero way for you to effectively plan that as a template over and over and over for your clients. And today, I'm going to show you how when you work with the CRM, your life gets way easier because all of that becomes digital. All of that becomes templates and all of that becomes replicatable in a very easy format. So for today's lesson, you're going to need your laptop. I always tell you, you need your computers, you need your laptops. Today, you absolutely need your laptop. You absolutely need your computer. So the first thing I want you to do is log in to your sync dashboard. Now remember, that's findhoustonareahomelistings.com. And we've been working on this for the last few weeks. So if you're not there yet, you've got to do a lot of catch-up work. Grab the person next to you, say, help me, help me, or come and speak to me or your regional success partner, but we need to get you caught up. So once you log in, you should be on a launch pad. Now, your launch pad may look different than mine because I'm on the broker launch pad, and yours might be like this, an agent launch pad. And it may show on here how many leads, contacts it, how many tasks are due, how many reminders, potential buyer GCI, statistics. This is what your dashboard probably looks like, if not just a little bit different, because it only focuses on your leads. What I want you to do is I want you to click here on the left-hand side where it says communications. So we're going to click there and you'll see this pulls up my actual email because I've been using my email to send out communications and I have it linked with my Gmail. But that's not what we're going to look at today. What we want to click in on is here on the left-hand side where it says campaigns. So we're going to click on campaigns. And what you should see are some public campaigns that have already been activated for you. So we're going to let it load here for a second. And when it loads, you'll see there's some campaigns that are already in here for you. And you'll see here it says public. That means that these are campaigns that have been created by someone else and made public to you. These that say sync templates have been created by sync. This Dave Ramsey one I know was created by Alan. Facebook ad campaigns was also created here in the office and shared with you. 
ELP seller campaigns. These are all public campaigns that have been created. And just in case you were ever wondering, what does a campaign look like for the D, I, S, and C for those disk assessments? Well, this is where you actually find it here. You can go in and look at those campaigns. And you see here, it tells you how many touches, four touches, three touches, five touches, six touches. It'll tell you how many of your actual leads are in that campaign right now. <laughs> How many have total been sent in that campaign? What the open rate is on average for the campaign and what the click rate is. So people actually clicking on the campaign itself. And here it'll show you whether the campaign is active or not. Now, let's say you want to create a new campaign. You can come up here to the top and you can click on add new campaign. But for the purpose of today, I want to look at a campaign that already exists. I want to look at a simple one so you can get an idea of what that actually looks like. So I'm going to pull up the sync template by buyer bad phone because it has six touches. It's a small campaign. There's no active prospects in it right now. So if I do something and I break it, I don't have to worry about messing with the people that are already in it. And I see that it's got about an 11% open rate. So it's not a terrible open rate. A good one would be closer to about 20%. So this is not a very effective campaign. It's about at a 55% effectiveness right now. So I'm going to click in here, though, so you can get an idea. So when I click it, it will actually show me what the touches are. And you see it says six touches, and you see one, two, three, four, five, and six touches there. And what we want to do is look at what those actual touches are. So I can click on here, and it will open up the actual touch so that I can get an idea what is it that it is actually looking at. So the first one here, you see, here I'm in the campaign. So I'm going to click out. I'm going to hit cancel here for a second. And you can see here's a campaign name. The category, is it for a buyer, a seller? Is it for both? Is it just a general email? Is this for a recruiter? Is this for a lender? So this one is set up to be buyer. Visibility, is it public or is it private? So if you create your own campaign and you don't want to share, you can make it private. But I recommend sharing it because we can help make each other's campaigns better. And when you share it, it doesn't mean that people can edit your campaign. It only means that they can utilize a campaign that you created. In order for them to edit the campaign, they have to make their own copy and then they can go in and make changes. Now down here, Status, is it active or is it disabled? If I don't want anyone to be able to use this anymore, I disable it. If I want it to be a, a possible use, then I leave it active. Now down here, it says a description. This campaign is to reach out to a buyer who has provided a bad or partial number. The goal is to get them to reach out to you via phone or email to give you better contact info. Important, if you use this campaign, you must set up a label trigger. So this is telling you that there's some type of label that will actually trigger this campaign. I'm going to explain what that means in a second. Now here on the left-hand side, it says, when do you start the campaign? And this is what it's talking about, that you have to have a label that's going to trigger it. So, or by adding the following label. So anytime that you add this label, the letter B colon bad phone number, people will automatically get set to this campaign. You don't have to go in and say, oh, bad phone number. Let me go find a campaign. Let me, no, no, no. The second you add that label, it starts it. You can also start campaigns by what lead stage they get moved to. So whenever you say that you set an appointment, boom, you can have a campaign that automatically starts when you set them to appointment set. So there's a lot of really, really cool things that you can play with here. There's a lot of really neat features. You can also do it by what landing page they come in and land on. So if you create a landing page, you can say, well, they landed on that landing page, boom, automatically, they're going to get set up by a campaign. You can do it by the by a filter for the lead source. So however the lead came in, whatever the source is that you set up, you can do it that way. So you have a lot, a lot of options here. And then more importantly, you have, how do I stop the campaign? So maybe I don't want them to get the emails anymore. And I don't want to actually manually have to go in. So for example, this one is set up. If you set an appointment with this person, so they get moved to pipeline stage, appointment set, this campaign is done. It's over. No more emails from this campaign will go out no matter where they're at in the process. So let's take a look at the actual campaign itself and understand what we're looking at. 
So down here, you see it says type. This is an email, 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 email. So these are all emails. And this last one here is a reminder. Okay, so that's what this little pin means is that it's a reminder. Now, in a second, I'm going to show you another campaign that's got emails, text messages, and reminders, but we want to start with the simple first. So we're looking at this and it says, how many days to wait? So this is after they sign up, how many days does it wait? Then from that day, so from the time they got this, how many more days? So you see it's five days later, then five days after that, then five days after that, then seven days after that. So all of this is based on the previous metric. So it's seven days after this one. This one starts five days after this one. This one starts five days after this one. This one starts five days after this one. And this one that says zero days starts zero days after up here, the following label, bad phone number is added. Now, what we want to do is we want to go in, we want to look at what are they actually saying? So over here, you can click on edit <clears throat> to actually edit it. Now, when you edit it, you select how many days you want to wait. You want to put when to send it at. You can actually say at a certain time or normal hours is just going to send it in the middle of the normal workday. If it's an email, you can set up a subject. If it's a text message, there is no subject. And if it's a reminder, there's only a title. So this one's an email. From who? Well, you want it to be coming from you, so from agent. But you can actually set it to come from any agent in the company. So that's something to look at. Then you've got send as. Email, HTML, plain text email, or completely unbranded. Now, you can also go down here and you can select a template. We don't want to use templates. We want to set up our own. So you see here, they already went in and it says, is blank the best number for you? And all of this is other little uh, HTML code. You don't actually have to use any of that stuff because it's not doing much. All these are page break, page break, page break. This is just making the email a little bit wider, a little bit bigger. And then you can always click preview to see... What does that email actually look like? So this is what it actually looks like. Is blank the best number for you? I double checked that I dialed it right, but it didn't go through. And then your first name. And then down here, it's just going to have this little disclosure about how to unsubscribe to the emails and the consumer protection notice, which has to be in all emails to be in compliance. Now, you see here, we've got all of those set up. And this last one is set up as a reminder. Now, what a reminder does is it puts a reminder in your dashboard. So when you go on your dashboard and you look at reminders, this will pop up on your dashboard and it'll just say heads up. The bad number drip for this contact has ended. So that's how they're utilizing this reminder. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to a more complicated campaign and I want to look at what exactly does a more complicated campaign have? So we want to look at this buyer just looking drip because this one has 15 touches and they're diverse touches. So we want to look at it and I'm going to click here and I'm actually going to click into it. So I click in, I'm going to hit cancel here so I can get it at a glance. So you see here, I'm looking at it. This is a text message, text message, text message, email, 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 reminder, email, reminder, email, reminder. Now, how does it start? Well, it starts when you use the label just looking. It's right here. And when they're no longer just looking, when I've actually moved them into showing, this campaign will stop so that they don't get those anymore. And over here is a description. Enable this campaign in order to drip on buyers that are just looking. Suggestions, create a just looking or BO just looking label to trigger the campaign. So we've got the just looking label there. You can utilize that to trigger this campaign. So you see the first one is a text message that they get. And we can look at it and we can see zero minutes. So right after they sign up, boom, they get this text message. Right after they get that label, actually, not sign up. Right, actually they, right after they get the label that says just looking, they'll receive this text message. And it says, hey, so-and-so. We'll click preview so we can see what it looks like on their phone. Hey, so-and-so, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me. I know you're just looking, but I wanted to go ahead and shoot you over my contact info for future use. I'll send you random info here and there in order to prepare you for the day to decide a new home as a go. It's one of my biggest passions, helping individuals like you find that perfect home. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help. Talk to you soon. Agent first name and then your contact info. First name, last name, agent cell phone, agent email. You can create these templates. You can change them however you want. That's a text message. Boom, it's going to go out to the phone number. 
The next one, 14 days after that initial text, it's going to send them another text messages. And then after that, 30 days after this 14, it's going to send them an email. 14 days after that 30, it sends them an email. 30 days after that 14, it sends them an email. 14 days after, 30 days after, 14 days after, 30 days after. So you see they created a pattern here of getting an email from you every 14 to 30 days. So it's diversifying. You're not becoming spammy, but you're staying top of mind. You're staying at the forefront of what they're thinking. And then we want to look at this reminder. Remember, reminders don't actually do anything. So text messages automatically go out on your behalf. Emails automatically go out on your behalf. But reminders are something you have to do. So you see this reminder here, it says that it is a call to check in on just looking. So this is so that it pops up in my dashboard and it reminds me, hey, you need to call this person. Hey, you need to make sure that you get in contact with this individual because this individual is looking for you on this trip camp. So on here, just give you a real quick description. Well, they're just looking, just want to see how the first looking was going. So it's just giving you an idea of what to say on the phone. They're not actually receiving anything. This reminder is only for you. So that's this campaign. And you can always go in and you can create your own campaigns. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to see everyone today start by creating a new campaign and create a campaign for anyone who you've set an appointment. So start by setting an appointment. Whenever that appointment stage is set to appointment set, they'll automatically receive this. And I want you to make a three by three campaign, three touches over every other day up to leading to the appointment. Make one of those a follow-up. Hey, just checking back in, making sure that our appointment is still on. Make one of those that, hey, looking forward to our appointment. Here's some valuable information. And the first one, just an introduction email. Thanks so much for setting an appointment with me. Guys, this is simple stuff. Don't make it complicated. You go in here, you create these, you're going to have a lot of success because you're not having to worry about making all these touches to your clients. If you need any help, ask me, ask your RSP, or you can always click up here on Help Center and reach out to Sync directly. They have an amazing group of people who can help you with Sync all the time. They're available regular business hours, 8 a.m. until like 6 p.m., and they're great about responding. So if for some reason I can't answer your question or I'm not available and your RSP can and they're not available, reach out to Sync directly. Now, I know this was a little bit of a long video, so I want you to take the next 10 minutes to create that 3x3 campaign and really practice on making it happen. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you all next time.